From our small world, we gaze up at the night sky, our eyes drawn to a bright red star. But you see, it is not a star at all. It is Mars, a planet of rust-colored deserts and towering volcanoes, a world of stark beauty and untold mysteries. Mars has captivated the human imagination for centuries. Its reddish hue, visible even to the naked eye, has inspired stories of war and fire, of gods and monsters. Today, we know that Mars is not the realm of mythical beings, but a place of real, tangible wonders. We have sent robotic emissaries to explore its surface, to analyze its rocks and soil, to search for signs of ancient life. Through their electronic eyes, we have seen panoramic vistas of desolate plains, shadowed canyons, and ancient riverbeds. But Mars is not a hospitable world. Its thin atmosphere offers little protection from the harsh radiation of space, and its temperatures swing wildly from scorching heat to bone-chilling cold. Its surface is swept by dust storms that can engulf the entire planet, blotting out the sun and plunging the landscape into an eerie twilight. Yet despite these challenges, the allure of Mars remains strong. The dream of one day walking on its surface, of establishing a human presence on another world, continues to inspire scientists, engineers, and dreamers alike. The mysteries of Mars beckon us, inviting us to unravel its secrets and to write a new chapter in the story of humanity. Mars is a world of extremes, and its weather is no exception. The key to understanding the planet's wild temperature swings and ferocious dust storms lies in its atmosphere. Unlike Earth's thick, protective blanket of air, the Martian atmosphere is thin, about 100 times thinner than our own. This thin air is mostly carbon dioxide, with only trace amounts of nitrogen and oxygen. This thin atmosphere has profound consequences for the Martian climate. With so little air to trap heat, temperatures on Mars fluctuate dramatically between day and night. During the day, the sun's rays can heat the surface to a comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. But as soon as the sun sets, the heat radiates away quickly into space, causing temperatures to plummet to minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 130 degrees Celsius, or lower. The thin Martian air also struggles to distribute heat evenly across the planet. This uneven heating creates strong winds that whip across the Martian landscape, picking up dust and sand and driving the planet's infamous dust storms. These storms can grow to enormous sizes, sometimes engulfing the entire planet in a reddish haze. Understanding the dynamics of this thin, volatile atmosphere is crucial for future human exploration of Mars. We must learn how to protect ourselves from the harsh radiation that penetrates the thin air and the extreme temperature swings that can challenge even the most robust technology. Imagine standing on the surface of Mars. The sun, a smaller, paler disk than we are used to, hangs in the salmon-colored sky. The air is thin and dry and the silence is profound, broken only by the whisper of the wind. The ground beneath your feet is a rusty red littered with rocks and boulders. It is a scene of both stark beauty and harsh indifference. The Martian day begins with a slow, steady increase in temperature as the weak sunlight warms the surface. As the sun climbs higher, the temperature can reach a pleasant 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius near the equator. This is warm enough to melt ice if there were any, and comfortable enough for humans to work outside without bulky, heated spacesuits. But as the sun begins to set, casting long, eerie shadows across the Martian landscape, the temperature drops precipitously. The thin Martian air offers little insulation, allowing heat to radiate quickly back into space. Within hours, the temperature plummets to minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 130 degrees Celsius, or lower. This extreme temperature swing, from a comfortable spring day to a night colder than the coldest places on Earth, is one of the most challenging aspects of the Martian environment. Mars is a dusty planet. Its surface is covered with fine reddish dust, the remnants of ancient volcanic eruptions and billions of years of weathering. This dust is easily stirred up by the Martian winds, creating dust storms that can range in size from small localized whirlwinds to planet-encircling behemoths. These dust storms are a spectacular and awe-inspiring sight. Imagine a wall of red dust, hundreds of feet high, advancing across the Martian plains, driven by winds that can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. The dust blots out the sun, plunging the landscape into an eerie twilight. The air is thick with dust, making it difficult to breathe and obscuring visibility. 
the largest Martian dust storms can engulf the entire planet in a reddish haze that lasts for weeks or even months. These global storms are a serious challenge for Martian exploration. They can cover solar panels, cutting off power to rovers and landers. They can interfere with communications, making it difficult to send and receive signals from Earth. And they pose a significant risk to human explorers, who would need to find ways to protect themselves from the abrasive dust particles and the reduced visibility. While we often picture Mars as a dry, dusty world, it can also experience surprisingly frosty conditions. As temperatures plummet during the Martian night, water vapor in the thin atmosphere can freeze directly onto the surface, forming a thin layer of frost. This frost is most common in the early morning hours, just before sunrise, when temperatures are at their coldest. Imagine waking up on Mars to a landscape transformed by frost. The red dust is coated in a delicate layer of white, sparkling in the weak sunlight. The rocks and boulders are adorned with intricate patterns of frost crystals, like miniature works of art. The frost can be so thick that it obscures the underlying terrain, creating a surreal, almost alien landscape. This Martian frost is not just a beautiful sight, it also reveals important clues about the planet's water cycle. The presence of frost confirms that there is still water present on Mars, albeit in a frozen form. The frost also plays a role in the Martian climate, reflecting sunlight back into space and influencing the planet's temperature. Understanding the dynamics of Martian frost is essential for future human exploration. We need to know where and when frost is likely to form, how it might affect our equipment, and whether it could be a potential source of water for human use. Mars is a planet of dramatic contrasts and mesmerizing extremes. Its weather, shaped by its thin atmosphere, volatile temperatures, and pervasive dust, offers a unique and challenging environment for exploration. From its boiling days to its freezing nights, from its furious dust storms to its frosty mornings, the Martian weather is a constant reminder of the planet's alien nature. But these very challenges are what make Mars so alluring. To understand Martian weather is to understand the planet itself, its history, its present, and its potential for the future. By studying the dynamics of the Martian atmosphere, we can learn how to protect ourselves from its extremes and to harness its resources. The exploration of Mars is a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable curiosity. We are driven by the desire to unravel the mysteries of the Red Planet, to unlock its secrets, and to write a new chapter in the story of our species. The weather of Mars in all its harsh beauty is an integral part of that story, a reminder of the challenges we face and the triumphs that await us as we venture further into the cosmos.